Have you heard other people talk about the passive income they're generating in real estate, but you just didn't know where to start or how to get involved? Don't worry, I got you covered because in this video, I'm going to share with you the skills that you need to have, those foundational skills to start generating passive income for your portfolio and for you to create passive income. My name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today's video is critical skills you must have for generating passive income in real estate. All right, so all of you know that we're about creating financial freedom on this channel here today and we want to help you create financial freedom through passive income strategies and real estate is one of the biggest ones out there. We actually have a shortage in real estate. Look, more multimillionaires have been produced through real estate than any other industry out there. So I love real estate. We're utilizing different strategies in real estate and you don't have to be a master in them. But what I'm about to show you is the three critical skills you got to learn, at least with single family homes. And we'll start small that you must learn in order to start getting passive income coming into your portfolio and start building towards your path to financial freedom. So with that, let's jump in. So the first skill is you got to be good at generating leads. Now, do you have to become a master? No, if you do, that's Great, but there's many different ways to generate leads or potential properties that you could purchase. So one is you can start networking with agents out there. There's a lot of agents, they wanna earn your business, they gotta know you're serious, so show them that you got proof of funds, show them and tell them what you're looking for specifically, what your strategy is. So the more information they have, the easier it is for them to go out there and look for those deals or when a deal comes up to bring it to you right away. Now, here's a key. You must stay in contact with them. You must touch base with them because we all know that saying out of sight, out of mind. The big one is finding off market deals. You've got to find deals that are not on the market yet that you might be able to get at a better price. And if they do go on the market, you cut out the agent commission. So that's a selling point to the seller. And so you could do that through mailers or flyers. You could do that through cold calls. You could do that from door knocking. All of these are skills that you must develop under the lead generation component or skill set that you need to have. And so you could outsource them, you can leverage them, but these are some of the main ones that I would encourage you guys to check out. Next is networking. This is where you're talking to everyone in your community, people that you do business with, the cashier at the uh, grocery store, everyone you can talk to about what you're doing with your business. Because here's what I know is that there's people out there that you're gonna connect with who know other people who know other people. And there might just be an opportunity that if you let them know what you're looking for, they might know someone that actually has what you're looking for. So networking is such a key um, when it comes to generating leads. And so any more strategies, but lead generation, if you can get good at that, look, you can pass these deals off to other people at a premium. Some of them, we call that wholesaling to a degree. But if you have deals and then you can have the third skill in your back pocket, you can accelerate your financial freedom really quickly. The top of this funnel, for lead, generate, lead generation at the top of any funnel, right, is one of the most critical aspects and that's where most people get hung up. If you can get good at it, I'm telling you, your financial freedom will accelerate rapidly. The second skill is underwriting. So now let's just say an agent or a friend brought you a deal, the seller says, hey, you know what, I'd like this much amount of money for it. You gotta go back and get a mortgage calculator. You gotta know what the rents are, the purchase price, and you gotta really be able to underwrite the numbers. Here's the big thing, is where most people get hung up is they don't actually understand what their exit strategy is when they're underwriting. So I would always encourage you, if you're an investor, you wanna play the long game, and I'll make a video on this, but I call it the infinite mindset. And what you're doing is you're looking at, if I plug a long-term renter in there, will this thing cash flow? At worst, break even, but will it cash flow? And if you have different strategies like short-term rental, mid-term rental, co-living, any of those opportunities, renting anything out by the room, you can start to actually increase your cash flow, which accelerates financial freedom. But you gotta learn how to underwrite the numbers. So how do you look and see the taxes for the property? How do you, you, may, you might need to go get a quote for insurance. You also gotta know what are the utilities? If you're gonna hold on to the utilities and pay them, right, and charge them in their rent, how much are the utilities or are you passing them along to people? Different strategies, different things around the utilities, right? So you wanna be able to long care, all that stuff. You gotta know your numbers. You can get really good at this. Then you can start adding on more strategies depending on the deal that you have. 
for example, you might have an ability to build or convert an ADU. So maybe you have a garage, a detached garage or an attached garage that you can go ahead and make into a small dwelling unit, right? A dwelling unit uh, or additional dwelling unit is what ADU stands for. Maybe there's a basement that has a separate entrance and you can actually convert the basement into a rental property too. And so maybe you're thinking short-term rental on the bottom, long-term long -term up top, or maybe mid-term up top. There's so many strategies, but based on your exit and the way you want to cash flow, you want to be able to underwrite the deal. So this second skill is critical because it'll make or break you. You make money in the purchase. This also reveals during underwriting is, hey, I might need to come in 25 grand less if this I want to hit my numbers for this deal. So you gotta learn this skill. It doesn't take much. There's a ton of YouTube videos on it, but you must learn this skill set. So the last skill is how are you funding the deal? Now there's many different ways you can fund a deal depending on what you're doing with the property. If you're flipping, you could use hard money if you or even private money. But if you're looking to purchase, it's like, are you personally funding it? What's your debt to income ratio? Could you qualify for that? Do you need to partner with someone where you go 50-50 in a partnership? Or maybe you're using private money. Last one is creative finance. This is one of my favorite ones out there. You can do anything. I always tell clients when it comes to funding deals is you can get as creative as possible. However, it just has to be that the seller accepts the deal, the offer, right? If you say, hey, I'll cook dinner for you for the next five years every night. And they say, sure, here's my house. All of a sudden you got a deal. Right? So maybe you put a couple grand down, maybe you put nothing down, maybe you make payments over time to that. There's so many different ways to use creative financing to get a crazy deal where your payment is low and your cash flow can be high. That is the ultimate goal and that's what's happening in a lot right now for people in this market. So if you wanna create cash flow, you're gonna to have to learn these three skills and look, it takes a little bit of time, but you have to do it. I like to say it's 20% learning, 80% action. I know so many people out there, they consume YouTube videos like this and they know it intellectually. They know the theory of it, but they don't know the practicality of it. They're not walking it out there. So you got to go do it. And if you're a little nervous, well, two things can happen. One, work with someone on your first deal where you can partner that they've already walked down this path. They can handhold you. It won't take much, right? You can learn from them. You'll feel comfortable. So on your next deal, you can move forward. Or number two is you can hire myself, my wife, or one of our coaches here at Master Life by Design, and they can walk you through that fear and break you free from that so that you can actually cash flow more than if you partner with someone. So either way, you're gonna pay for it, but hopefully you maximize your returns, right? Like we all pay for education in one form or another. So you're gonna walk down this path. I encourage you to take action because that's the best way you know. It's actually that physical, it's like in your physical body, you understand it at a deeper level than when it's just up here, right? Know that you're not gonna make it 100% right the first time, you're gonna screw up. But the more that you practice, the better you're going to get. All right, guys, there you have it. These three critical steps you must have if you're looking to create passive income in real estate. And the cool part is, once you have those skills, they can never be taken from you and you can go anywhere in the country and potentially anywhere in the world and start to earn passive income. Is there much more to it? You bet, but these are the foundational steps you must learn moving forward. So if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below. What did you take away? What are you gonna put into action? Where do you need help? Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and that notification button so when more videos come out like this, you can take advantage of it right away and put it into action. And look, if you're having a challenge and you need help along the journey, reach out. We want to support you at Master Life by Design. We can get you a coach to help walk you through that process so that you can maximize your returns. You can accelerate financial freedom. More importantly, once you are financially free, you can turn around and go help someone else out and do the same for them because it's not cool to be financially free and travel the world alone. You wanna do it with people. With that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. See ya.